Hi, how y'all doing? It's winter, y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna talk about the fact that some blacks, particularly the rich ones, are still slaves. Now, I consider myself freeborn. I agree with Harriet Tubman. Either you have freedom or you die. I agree with her. Now, black celebrities in Hollywood, in the music industry, in the media industry, anchors, etc., the millionaires, particularly the millionaires in sports and people in sports, they are all slaves. Why? Because being a slave is written in their contract. What is in their contract? You can't do anything for the blacks in America. That makes them slaves. Because look, there's enough wealth in among the black celebrities to completely transform Skid Row. To get every person there a house, build buildings, etc. There's enough wealth to trans uh, to better Detroit, Chicago, Mississippi, or Louisiana. Places that have these extreme pack, uh, pockets of black poverty. The black celebrities, it's written in the contract. No matter whether they're in uh, media, whatever, reporters, whatever, it's written in their contract. You can't do anything for the blacks in America. You can't start a laundromat in the black community. You cannot have a barber shop in the black community. You cannot even have a convenience store in the black community. Why? Because that would empower blacks. And they want to keep us poor and in slavery. Now, if anyone tells you, if you have puppet masters to tell you what you can and cannot do to spend your money, that makes you a slave. Okay? Anyone who tells you what you can and cannot do with your money, where you can and cannot live, you are a slave. They sign themselves into slavery. They t tell them where they can and cannot live, what they can and cannot do with their money. And what's scary is that they know where these celebrities are traveling at all times, like a built-in GPS system. They seem to know where they're going to go at all times. If they go to Bloomingdale's, if they go to Macy's, if they go to um, Hawaii, they seem to know where these celebrities are at all times. The puppet masters. Now, during slavery, they told the slaves what they can and cannot do with the money. How much did you earn today, so-and-so? I earned so-and-so. Well, give me that and I give you this. You give me 90% of your money, I give you a quarter. They told the slaves where they can and cannot go, where they can and cannot live, and what they can and cannot do with their money. That's the same thing that these so-called black celebrities, they are nothing more than slaves because the puppet masters tell them what they can and cannot do with their money. You cannot do anything for the blacks in America. There not only are millionaire slaves, there are billionaire slaves. Why do you think Oprah uh, started school in Africa? They don't care if you do something for the Africans. They don't care about that. But they wouldn't let her start her school in America. But no, yeah, she can start a school in Africa to assuage her ego. There are millionaire slaves. There are billionaire slaves. And like I said, anybody who tells you what you can and cannot do with your money you are a slave, they signed themselves into slavery. You thought slavery has ended, but it hasn't. Okay, now nobody tells the poor man what to do with his money, because they don't care about the poor man. Okay, nobody tells the poor man where he can and cannot go, because nobody cares about the poor man. Actually, the poor man is more free than these celebrities. Okay, now Martin Luther King said, none of us are free until we all are free okay so they are not free they're slaves if you look at the two words celebrities and slavery they are synonymous they wanted the same thing celebrities are slaves because they sign into their contract with the that they cannot do anything for the blacks in america they can't how many celebrities do you know have a laundromat in the black community none 
How many do you know have a celeb have a barbershop in the black community? None. What about a, a supermarket? None. Because they are not allowed to do anything for the blacks in America. Anything that would give blacks a job, you know, like if you have a laundromat, you need somebody to clean it. Okay? They are not allowed to do anything for the blacks in America. That is written in their contract. And I guess if they do do something for blacks in America, like have a community center or, or a basketball camp, they die. Now, you know, as an aside, they always get blacks to kill other blacks. Just like they did in slavery. You take like Nat Turner, who betrayed him, a black man in his camp. Denmark Vesey, who betrayed him, a black man in his camp. They always get blacks to screw other blacks. I remember that happened to me while I was working. They got this black girl. Uh, she was trying to spy on everybody else and she ended up getting fired. But see, it's always blacks against blacks. If you're a celebrity, they sign themselves into slavery. Because the contract says they cannot do anything for the blacks in America. There's no black celebrity that even owns a barbershop, a laundromat, a supermarket in the black community. They are, they are still slaves. Cause, because if anybody tells you what you can and cannot do with your money, you still a cotton pick a slave. There are millionaire slaves and billionaire slaves. 